Okay. So let's let's dive in a little bit to the next level. So a captive insurance company is a real insurance company. As I've sort of already intimated, uh, you have to have a license given to you by whatever the regulatory authority is in the jurisdiction where you're going to have your captive located. Uh, it's going to be formed to ensure all different types of risks. They could be general liability or operating risks. It could be business risks. Um, so an example of a business risk could be, for example, loss of a key customer or loss of a key supplier. It could be loss of a license to operate. So we have uh, uh, several trucking companies that are, that are running captives that we're associated with. They have uh, Department of Transportation licenses. They have, obviously, driver's licenses. They have certain licenses uh, that, are, that are given to them by the EPA to carry uh, you know, toxic or hazardous waste, all sorts of things. Uh, the loss of any of those licenses because of some sort of a, um, a mishap you know, could be a substantial business risk. So those are the types of things that we can look for, uh, not just uh, obviously environmental things. Those things exist across the board. Um, we could be looking at exclusions, things that are uh, you think they might be covered by your, your um, policy that's coming to you uh, in your normal business package, but they're not. They're excluded. And those are things that you might look at covering. And then, of course, deductibles is, a, is another uh, area where we would look. Someone might have a million dollars of coverage in a particular area, but they have a $100,000 deductible. Well, maybe what they want to do is ensure that deductible in their captive. So that's a possibility, too. All of these, all of these things are possible. Uh, it's really um, one of the reasons we pick the managers we picked is because they're extremely thorough in terms of analyzing company's business and their risks and coming up with uh, a really good package of risks that, that make sense, that are necessary uh, in the sense of ordinary and necessary, which is a term of art in the income tax world. Uh, but these are the general areas that they're going to be looking at to identify risks for a particular uh, customer.